Hi there, um, this is Jennifer with the Game Fanatics, and I'm with... CG, aka Star Slayer. Awesome, and um, she's a professional gamer, and she was also on uh, Robot Combat League. So we're gonna start off with the good stuff, the gaming. So how did you get into that? Um, I first got into gaming when I was probably like three or four. Uh, my parents got me a Nintendo, and actually my grandmother was really hardcore into mm -hmm. Nintendo. And um, I just started to fall in love with Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt and just like the simple stuff. And it just went on from there. My parents kept getting me the, the newer and better consoles, newer and better games started coming out, and I just couldn't put it down. Awesome. Yeah. Favorite game from Retro? From Not retro? New, retro days. Okay, well, I, I love Mario Brothers. I mean, I got a Mario Brothers, a Mario and Bowser fighting tattoo here. Awesome. Big fan of the classic Mario. Mm -hmm. um, also really big into Galaga. Right. I love Galaga. So, uh, and I will take on any competitors ah, who there you go. want to challenge me on that game. I love it. <laughs> I see the Kingdom Hearts tattoo and the yes. Toneberry. Toneberry, yeah, yeah. I'm big into Final Very Fantasy. Awesome. It, like, in terms of newer games, mm -hmm. Final Fantasy VIII was definitely one of my uh, favorite games. And, I mean... Love them. Right. Awesome. Now, um, since you have multiple gaming tattoos, do you have any plans for the future for any other ones? Uh, yeah. Actually, originally, my entire arm was supposed mm -hmm. to be a Mario Brothers sleeve. Um, unfortunately, that did not work out. Um, not going with this artist anymore in the future. So I am currently on the lookout for a new artist that wants to take on the task of Completing a Mario Brothers sleeve. If you guys are anybody or know anybody out there, please contact me. Very awesome. <laughs> I'd like Very to finish awesome. This. <laughs> yes. So, um, Guitar Hero. Yes. That's your baby right there, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, what exactly do you want? To like know? how you got into professional Guitar Hero? Oh gosh, that was not planned. Right. Despite what people think, um, I did not go in going like I'm going to be the best Guitar Hero player ever. Mm -hmm. No, actually, um, I started in playing in the arcades. I played a game called uh, Guitar Freaks. So it's actually a Japanese version of the game. It's only three buttons mm -hmm. and a strum bar, no whammy bar or anything like that. But it's very, very fast-paced, top-down scroller, rhythm game, and it sucked me in. And this was years before Guitar Hero was even a thought in somebody's head, right. assuming. And then uh, one day I was at Blockbuster, and there was a, they have like a separate gaming section. Right. And they had Guitar Hero demo set up. This is November 2005, mm -hmm. a month um, before Christmas, of course, whenever Guitar Hero game comes out. And they had it set up, and I played it, and I played it on hard, right. one of the harder songs, and I got five stars, and I was like, that's it. I'm hooked on this game, I want this game, and I got it for my birthday, right. which is right next to Christmas. Oh, awesome. So it was like an awesome birthday Christmas present. Right. And uh, I just played the game for fun. If I could full combo a song, that was awesome. Mm -hmm. But I just mostly wanted a five star songs on hard and expert. Right. And uh, it wasn't until maybe a year later when I moved to Texas, and uh, somebody contacted me on MySpace and said, hey, uh, I run this competition, it's called Midnight Gaming Championship, and uh, we have Guitar Hero as one of our games. So why don't you come out here and check it out? And competing in that game, it was amazing. Like, all the people were super cool, and people were telling me things I never knew about Guitar Hero. Like, there was a whole nother level to Guitar Hero that I just never knew about. Like right. Star power paths, and when you're supposed to activate star power, I thought you just did it when the meter was full. <laughs> right. And just learning all of that, I was like, I want to know more, and I want to get better, and I want to become one of the best. Because right. th these guys were like rock stars at the time. Mm -hmm. Guitar Hero was huge. And then I was like, that is awesome. I want to compete against these guys, and I want it to be a good fight. Awesome. I don't want to be dominated, and it just took off from there. Right, there you go. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Um, was there any song that you ran into that was a little challenging? Jordan. Ah. Screw that song. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, what about Through the Fire and Flames? Nothing. Nothing compares to Jordan. <laughs> Through the Fire and Flames is hard, but it's right. like it's the intro. Mm -hmm. It's a tough intro once you get past it. I mean, you can, worst case scenario, star power through the soul. Right. And, there you, know, you go. Save you, but no. <laughs> have you tr you have you ever tried? Um, what was it a uh, rock band? Rock band, yes. I am. A lot of people know, like people who follow me, they mm -hmm. see I, I'm pretty back and forth between Guitar Hero and Rock Band as to like which one's my favorite. Right. Um, I have competed in Rock Band. I placed first place in the WCG Pan American Championships for Rock Band. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a good game. It's it has much better songs, but it's more one of those things where it's like Guitar Hero. I did start that first. That's, right. That's my my original love. <laughs> 
and uh, just the note hit timing windows and just the way that the highway looks and everything I just kind of prefer right that most of the time awesome awesome yeah. let's talk about a little bit about robot combat league and how you got into that one that <laughs> robot combat league that was completely random mm -hmm. um, so I am on Craigslist a lot right. I, I go on Craigslist and I'm looking for job opportunities I'm mm -hmm. looking just for I type in video game in Craigslist and I just see what comes up sometimes I type in pro gamer just to see sometimes people need help with video games or whatever mm -hmm. and uh, I typed in pro gamer one day and there was a article that popped up and they said hey we're looking for people who have competitive mindsets we're looking for athletes professional gamers you know anybody who with a competitive mindset that might want to try something new and crazy uh, contact us <laughs> and I was like okay uh, so I wrote to them I was like hey right. I'm a professional gamer I've been competing for over six years now and I've built up a pretty good name for myself with my wins and everything and I think I can take on whatever task you guys are throwing at me here so what's going on right and I assumed it would be video game related mm -hmm. because they replied so quick and they're like oh this is awesome okay you'd be great for this and then in one email they said something about me being a perfect robot jockey <laughs> And I look up Robot Jockey, and it's like a robot that rides a horse. Right. And I was like, what the <laughs> hell is this? What did I get myself into? Wow. This is not what I thought it was. Mm -hmm. And then eventually, after interviewing, the process continued on. They had right. told me what it was. And I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to control a giant animal. Robot is right. awesome. Oh, it's like awesome. childhood dream coming true here. Exactly. How was it like, oh, it was a drone strike yes. that you were in control of? I got drone of. strike. How was that like? Controlling drone strike to compare to like just a simple video game controller. Um, well, because of the fact that I was only controlling the upper half, right? All I had to really do is just focus on my jabs and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a fighter. I am not. I have no experience <laughs> anything. And so I just basically I went on YouTube. I watched a couple videos, and I was like, "How right. am I supposed to punch? Because I punch like this. Right. That's not right at all." So I learned how to properly punch, and then right. I I got up there, and none of that mattered right. because it's it's completely different. I mean, you're in this rig, and you have to actually just a block like this with mm -hmm. the robot. I'm blocking like this, right? And it's just you have to. It's more of just like the gamer perspective. You're you see your character, and then you do something, and you see how it reacts, and then right. you just adapt to that. And so it, it was a lot of like adapting on the spot and being used to this weird angle where I can't feel anything, all right. I can see is only one section, I can't change the camera angle and mm -hmm. see what's going on in front, I can't see if they're hitting, I can only assume I'm blocking properly. Right. It's it's a really crazy experience, mm -hmm. but it was really, really cool. Awesome, awesome. And how was uh, meeting up with uh, Chris Jericho? Chris Jericho, yeah, he's, uh, I have to admit, mm -hmm. and I said this on camera and I didn't care if they put it on the air, I was like, I have no idea who Chris Jericho is. Oh, wow. I know. Yeah. I know. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, now I do. Right. Actually. I mean, all I knew was he was a very nice guy mm -hmm. when I first met him. Um, but yeah, when people find out, they're like, oh my God, you met Chris Jericho. <laughs> Did you get to touch him? Can I touch you? I'm like, sure. You, you were around him, his aura, his presence. I know. Here, here have his cheek. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I didn't know who he was at first. All right. I knew was everybody around me was like, <laughs> like freaking out fangirling. Yeah, and I was like, mm, I don't know. He's okay. like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, he's the host of the show to me. Like, mm -hmm. that's all I know. Right, so. awesome, awesome. So, PAX. Yes, PAX is awesome. What What's the good game that you've been playing here? I've been hooked on Killer Instinct. Oh my god. <laughs> People, they have to like tear me away and be like, oh, can right. I let someone else play now? <laughs> But I am trying to be good and right. go to the back of the line and wait for my turn again. <laughs> Very nice. Like old school arcade. Like you play, I'm like, okay, next person. Yeah. Well, they actually, they have like two sides set up. So they right. have two and two. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it's like they have a side that's kind of like facing the line. And on that side, that's like winner stays. Right. Like you do good, you can stay. I was over there for an hour and a half this morning. So I was doing good. <laughs> but then it was like, okay, so now some other people came and I don't want to play against the same people over and over. So I was like... I'll switch to the other side. So right. Now I have to wait a while to play, but Aww. it's 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 still fun. That's I awesome. mean, it, it's actually to the point I want to buy an Xbox One, and that's right. just a lot for a uh -oh. single game to make <laughs> me want to buy a system. That I said yeah, that no. is a good thing. Yeah. Awesome. Very awesome. Now, which ones do you have more fun? What type of games do you have more fun playing? The fighting games or the rhythm games? It totally depends because <laughs> I've played rhythm games that totally suck. Right. I'm not gonna say any names. 
apology. But, <laughs> you know, there's some rhythm games out there that just ruin it. Right. It's like the bad covers, it's mm -hmm. bad graphics, and that can make me not like a rhythm game. Um, but then there's the same fighting games that just ruin it for me. Right. If it's one of those games like Marvel vs. Capcom where I can get OCV'd because it's like it takes so much time to get good at. And yes. these people have been playing for years and years. It gets to a point to where it's not fun to play unless mm -hmm. you're playing with friends at similar skill levels. So it, it totally depends. I love the music aspect of Guitar Hero and I love that I can rock out on a solo and right. do things I could never do on a real guitar. Mm -hmm. um, but I also like coming to a convention and playing a fighting game against people I've never met before and afterwards you're friends. Right. You know, it's like, that was so sick! <laughs> the combo was awesome! Oh my god! And, and then, you know, they want to shake your hand, they want your gamer tag, they mm -hmm. want to, you know, so it, it totally depends on what the environment is and what type of game it is. Right. Okay, awesome. Um, so, uh, do you have any advice for people trying to be professional gamers, especially women? Because oh it's a little bit, you know. You know, the thing is with girls and and or women mm -hmm. in this case, you know, um, sometimes it's harder and sometimes it's easier. It depends on what type of game you play. If you play a game like StarCraft and you're really good at it, it's a huge advantage to be a female player in StarCraft yeah. because they want more female presence in there. And they're, the sponsors, if they see a girl who's really good, they're going to jump on them right. and throw sponsorships at them and stuff. And a lot of guys think that's unfair, but they don't look at the, the fact that it's a marketing thing all, on top of the fact that they want more females involved and that having a female for other females to look up to is a big thing for them. And they figured that'll help get more females into gaming. So it's a good thing, but also sometimes being a female gamer who wants to be pro in a game like Street Fighter is very tough because then when you come in, you're automatically bottom level. And if you are not somehow mysteriously, magically pro when you first start, they just like crap on you and make you not want to play. Right. And it's very hard to push past that barrier and continue on anyway and then get to that level to where you earn their respect. Okay. And so, I mean, it's it's tough but male or female it's going to be lots of time it's going to be you have to be dedicated to a game you have to practice a lot you have to get all the top peripherals and controllers and you have to make sure that you're constantly practicing with the best players it's fun playing with your friends but you have to go to the arcades with the best players you have to play online against the best players because you have to step your game up you have to read articles about um changes to the game to make sure you're always like catching up with everybody you're like right there because if you fall behind like there's you have no chance especially right. games like League of Legends where they're constantly changing characters and Street Fighter character balancing um, it's tough but the the hardest part is just staying dedicated and staying positive because as a female you have a target on your back right I mean there's so many guys that come into the scene and be complete crap at first mm -hmm. and they just get nobody cares Right. But a girl, you come in and if you're not pro right off the bat, you got a target on your back and it's just so hard. Mm -hmm. It's so hard. So just stay positive and just keep going with it. That's it. You can never give up. Ever. Don't let anybody tell you that you're not good enough or you can't make it because you can. Awesome. Sorry. That was no, th that, was, that, was, that was great. It's just I've, <laughs> I've dealt with it for years. Right. And I've seen so many girls who have so much good potential mm -hmm. leave because they couldn't handle the pressure. Right. And there's so many people that if they were in my shoes and they went through three straight years of harassment mm -hmm. in, a, in a single, in the fighting game community, they will tear you apart. I had my phone number plastered online. I had people wow. harassing me in my personal life, harassing me in my job. It gets bad just because people have nothing else better to do and it's hard to stay strong and keep doing it. Right. People just don't know, man. Some people can be vicious. Oh yeah. Especially if like, you play a simple game of, let's say, like Halo, and they find out you're a girl, forget it. Well, either they want to date you. Right, yes. Or they are teabagging <laughs> your face every chance they get. I've, I've done that a few times, but you know, it's, it's Halo, but yeah. Yeah. So, um, what are your plans for the future? Any um, competitions coming up? Oh gosh, actually, sadly, I have not really competed this year. Right. Um, I've been doing a lot of marketing work. I've been working with some really awesome companies and just trying to kind of help gaming from, I guess, behind the scenes. Right. You know, a lot of people don't know projects that I'm working on, but I'm trying to do a lot of things to help gamers um, in the future. And I have a lot of projects that I can't talk about. Right. But it's stuff that will help esports in the future. It's stuff that will help prof gamers who want to become professional gamers in the future. Right. You know, I do some consulting for some players and help them with uh, 
marketing themselves, getting uh, sponsorships, endorsement deals, and stuff like that. So I'm, I've am i spent this past year doing a lot of that, the right. behind the scenes stuff. That's eventually um, the route I want to keep doing. I want to become like a player manager, team manager, something like that. I want to continue to help the community um, in any way that I can, even if it's not me, myself, earning money from beating the crap out of other, other people. Right. I would rather help 10 other people achieve their dreams than keep going for it myself. Wow, awesome, awesome. Good luck with that. Yeah, that, that I'm gonna try. <laughs> sounds amazing, because a lot of people really need a little bit of help and a little inspiration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so um, you have a YouTube channel. Would you like yes. to talk about that real quick? Uh, YouTube.com slash Star Slayer. <laughs> um, I mostly do video gameplay. It's a lot of Guitar Hero Rock Band, if you look on there. I'm trying to expand and do new stuff. I'm working with Ford right now and the Fiesta Movement. Right. And so I'm um, trying to do more content with them. So a little bit Ford related, trying to keep it gaming related as well. So m this is actually my mission for Ford this month is coming to PAX. So uh, Got my little Fiesta, I came up here, and uh, I'm going to get awesome coverage, hopefully. Hopefully everything turns out awesome. okay. <laughs> so, yeah, just uh, trying to get a little bit of everything. All right, awesome. Well, um, this has been very interesting, very inspiring interview here. Um, this is Next Gen Jennifer for uh, the Game Fanatics, and this is Star Slayer, and game on.